Welcome to our last day at Rocky Railway, where we're trusting Jesus to pull us through life's ups and downs. Let's sing, Your Power Will Pull Us Through and Celebrate. I hope you sing out really loud with your awesome voice at home. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. to have everyone riding the rails with us here at Rocky Railway. A long time ago, trains were the best way to take a long trip. I want you to think for a moment about the longest trip you've been on. How long did it take? And where did, what did you do? Where did you go? Think about that and talk at home for a minute. <laughs> When people started using trains in North America, they couldn't get all the way across the United States on one train. There was a train that covered one part of the country and a different train that covered the other side of the country. Finally, they made it so that the tracks connected. It was such a big deal that they could put a solid gold spike in the train track to seal the deal. Our whole country was connected. This week, we're discovering how we are connected to Jesus's power. That makes me want to dance and celebrate. Join with me. We're going to sing, We Can Trust Him. <laughs>
Long, we've been celebrating Jesus's power and God's awesomeness by sharing our God sightings. I've seen them all around me this week, whether it's in somebody's smile or just in a conversation that I've been able to have with friends. God sightings are just evidence of God. We see them here. We see them at church. We see them at school, at home, at the park, at the pool, everywhere if you're really looking. We can trust Jesus that his Father God is at work all around us, everywhere we go. Please take a minute right now to listen to Everywhere I Go, which is track two on your CD. This week, we've learned incredible truths from the Bible. On day one, we met Ramsey. Ramsey taught us that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. On day two, we met Ava, Ava taught us that Jesus' power gives us hope. On day three, we met Sierra, who taught us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. And finally, yesterday on day four, we met Finn. Jesus' power lets us live forever. We have one more Bible buddy to meet. Let's play our introduction. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts, a few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. 
Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Here's our last Bible buddy. When you see Lawrence Elk, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Let's sing about Jesus' awesome power. Here's power in the blood. Oh.